Oh, I'm back, y'all. The other one still says live. Uh uh. J Lo. <laughs> Ooh, flag on the play. Okay, let's do that. There's a flag on the play. There's a flag on the play. <laughs> okay, where were we at, y'all? Y'all play too much. Y'all play entirely too much. It wasn't right. It was not right. It was not right. Don't be afraid of the way it feels. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Open your heart. You can see it's real. It's real love. Boy. She hit that hoe. Boy. Please sign the petition. I appreciate y'all. That was me, D. I, when I hit the table, that thing uh, disconnected. The camera. Don't be afraid of the way it feels. That's the song. Man, look, I was listening to Johnny Gill the other day, Key Sweet. <laughs> Had to go back there right quick and pick something up, man. I left some in the past over there, I guess, with the love songs and the um because Key Sweat that uh my my my, I think no, put on your red dress. The um the instruments that they use in that song just it's I'm like, I remember like wanting to find a place that play that type of music right it's just a whole vibe okay because i don't like when they be mixing up songs like uh that have that type of tempo and that type of uh those type of instruments they mix it up with something else like but what did you put beethoven in there for what is the dj even doing where the jukebox at where is the jukebox i'm trying to figure it out saxophone i wish we remember we used to play music on here <laughs> They started striking channels and shit. We used to have so much fun, but we in Mercury Retrograde, so I guess we on some used to shit. But understand, everything that should have been is exactly, everything that could have been is exactly what it should have been, okay? So it's neither here nor that, there. Thank you, New Waters. Baby. You been listening to Adita Baker? Oh, yes. I mean, come on, man. Wow. Embrace the dark. Shine your true light upon the earth. What's wrong with that? Okay? The way is clear. Awaken to the power within you. Somebody need to hear that. You are the light in the darkness, child. All right? You need to hear that, whoever you are. Find that light within you. Okay, go listen to Maya Angelou. Find that light in you, that piece of you, that part of you, your innocence, okay, that must be protected like a Rolex necklace at all times. And remember, Rolex necklace isn't an actual thing. But in our imaginary, imaginary um, world, our fantasy world, it's a real to-do. So that's a part of you that, you know, um, parts of you that haven't even come into existence yet. Protect yourself. Protect your child like wonder and ah, let it out, let it flow. Open up the heart to feel, let it out, let it flow, and walk out the door. Let it out, let it flow, and walk out the door. Hey, I'm telling you. I ain't never heard that. Thank you, J-Lo. Yes, and I uh, still, J-Lo just remind me of something that I've been <laughs> needing to do. With that 90-day journey to mindfulness, uh, shout out to anyone who has purchased it and actually made it through at least one full week. That's the start. Didi, you hear me? I messed that up. That was on. That was a flag on me. <laughs> Chandelier, because you need to. Look, you deserve good things. Keep your focus on what you want and fuck what you don't want. Basically, that's what they said. This is a lot of crown chakra activity, a lot of bursting of energy as well, maybe coming through. All right. This has more to do with your spiritual self than your physical self. I'm trying to figure it out. Your spiritual connection, the heart of things, the brain matter, the brain, the things that only matter. Okay. You are unlimited. What you create is what 
unlimited. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. And they have to continue to do so. Fire spirit tarot. Forest spirit tarot. They got to continue to do so. Don't dim, don't, don't, don't. You know, it's one thing to have uh, for people to try to dim your light. But then when you begin to dim your own light, you're handing over your birthright. Look at that. Check it out. A one, two, a one, two. Check, check, check it out. It is safe to let go, hope. It is safe to let go. It is safe to let go. It is safe to let go. Whatever it is that you have been holding on to, it is safe to let it go. Do it with your heart. Do it with an attitude of gratitude. It's safe to let go. You are surrounded by love. All your days and all of your ways. And see, when stuff happens to you, you got to really remember that, wait a minute, I'm surrounded by love. And anything that happens outside of me is not necessarily a part of me unless I invite that bitch in. Let's get it together. Look at that. It's safe for you to let go. Expansion. This is the expansion of that light that we saw earlier. Once you start letting things go, you'll be, begin to glow even more so. That's what they said. And if you think that they align, won't you go and check in and, 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 and find out and ask them about it? All right? It's very much so uh, what you need to be doing. All right? Because when you allow yourself to really um, expand in that space and really work on doing it on a regular basis, it'll be easier for you to step into that space. It'll e be easier for you to step into the Chronicles of Narnia. Pan's Labyrinth. I would like to watch that. Now, you are worthy. Aim for what you want and believe in your what? Yourself. This is a lot of blue energy. That means that you need to speak it into existence. Speak over what it is. Oh, it look like a lady up there with some... I'm going to show y'all this. She got some... Baby, where that lady come from? Some kind of alien bitch. It's an eight. She right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. She got on shades. She right here. All right. So, um, but um, they want you to keep things to yourself. I would recommend that. That's first and foremost, okay? You don't have to tell people that you're worthy. But the motherfuckers that matter. And they are not on earth. You don't have to tell people on earth that you are worthy. Because then that's when they will come up against you to try to prove that you are not. Okay? They look at it, look at you saying that you are worthy of this, that, and the other as a sign of weakness. Be careful. Oh, let me stop doing that because that's how we got kicked off a while ago. You in the middle of moving. I love it. Bless the space so that whoever moves in after you won't have none of your stuff in there. And wherever you move until you know. Lay down a foundation in there, too, and let it be known what's going to go on. Oh, that's beautiful, Lysa Grace. Let me see what's right here, child. Shine love on fear. Let me tell you something. Okay. Shine love on fear. Love will light up the darkness. Shine light on fear. Y'all need to get this deck. What's the name of this deck, y'all? Where's the box, child? I'm going to have to find the box. Look at that. Because sometimes the, 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 the clarity that you need is this, this, it's this simple. Sometimes people want a whole multitude of clarity, and half the time they can't process but a little bit anyway. A little bit take you a long way. Right? A little bit take you a long way. Shine love on fear. Fear is a pesky problem. You know that there may be a lot of people like what this one's going to tell you what I'm seeing in this card. One, somebody is um, louder than most people. So somebody wants your attention, whoever you are. OK, somebody wants your attention. They are just so adamant about they got a, a, a mole or a, a, it's something on a jaw that's identifying as well as here, maybe a birthmark or a tattoo. But somebody wants your attention so bad. Like, it's like maybe they feed off of your fear because you know the same. Okay, don't go into all that. Spirits and energy and all that. It's all the same to me. But somebody wants your attention so bad. Maybe they are trying to get you to not make some type of move, make some type of decision. But it's like whoever this is that is saying this, why is her look like uh, when John Travolta did Grease, child? But whoever this is, they got a big mouth. They are very loud, right? And it doesn't, it's not to say that they are loud in the sense of needing every, like, oh, they project. Somebody projects here. 
It looks like a man. Maybe this is a younger man. I don't know. It could be an elf, somebody from the elf realm channel. I'm unsure. But there's someone here in spirit that is looking at this person, helping to guide you. So shine light, love, on uh, fear. Okay, love is one of, is the most powerful frequency. I don't know where y'all from, but love is a very powerful frequency. Life is an expression of you. Life is more than existing. Life is more than existing. I love it. Stay the course. You are moving in the right direction. Stay the course. This got a lot of that Mars energy, just a lot of aggression, a lot of passion. Maybe you are aggressively staying the course. And sometimes you have to. That's why you have to um, make sure that you don't misplace your anger. Okay? It's not what you're doing. It's, it's not um, where you're going. It's what you're doing to get there. You hear me? Don't be confused by this. Okay? Now I'm remembering why I stopped reading these cards. <laughs> Now I'm remembering. I think I was reading them on Instagram last year a couple of times, uh, quite a few times. You are moving in the right direction. This is stability. Got to be clear on what you want and breathe love into your life on a regular basis. I was telling them, I think in the um, either the seller or the quick word, I think it was a quick word I did last week. And I was telling them that throughout the day, you just really got to hold yourself and hug yourself and just Breathe in all of the good stuff and release all the bad stuff and tell yourself that you, I love you. I love you. You are, you are okay. You are fine. And you know, any of the other affirmations, but it's mostly telling yourself throughout the day that I love you. All right. Because that um, keeps you from being codependent as well. All right. Bottom dwellers and friends feed off of codependency. They feed off fear, worry, stress, anxiety, all the things that um, I speak against over here. That's what they feed off of. Hey, Tosh, Tosh. Jojo, where you been? I thought, you, you know, when I first saw your name, you remind, is that Jojo who? No, that's Jojo, Jojo who? Make sure I know the, the same, if this is the same person. Thank you so much, J-Lo. Is it JoJo, JoJo? I'm trying to figure something out real quick. Because Jome is on here, so that makes sense if that's the JoJo that I'm thinking. Let love be your guide. Live a life from love, guided by love, okay? In all your ways and all your days, feel and release. Release all you've accumulated on this journey. So this is like uh, stepping into right in that, in that space where you're about to jump off that precipice, okay? You are at the end of a cycle moving into some great new beginning, and it's like let go of all of that bullshit you accumulate. It's time to let it go. Anything that needs to be forgiven, forgive it. Um, the thing about forgiveness, let's talk about it real quick. The thing about forgiveness that's very important to remember that it's you're not doing this for nobody but yourself. It's like, you know, letting go of a lot of dead weight. OK, um, you know, you girls that is on this um, whole thing that y'all be like, oh, my back big and all that. OK, if your back big, that's probably where the weight is coming from. So shit you holding on to hump back or Notre Dame. Now then, don't take it personal, because I know that we are in a space, we are in a space, no matter how careful, like, first and foremost, everybody's so damn sensitive. When do people get this sensitive? It must be the milk or the, 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 what's in the food, because motherfuckers be too damn sensitive, if you ask me. Um, but overall, uh, this, I know that we've moved into even more of a, um, a, a season of like people being sensitive. Their emotions are sensitive. They take everything, everything triggering them. Mental health is real. And sometimes people don't even want to hear you say that. That will trigger saying that starting a discussion. We already can't talk about politics, religion. What's the other one? We can't talk about LGBTQ. What, what else can't we talk about? So we can't talk and discuss certain things, right? And that's one of the other things that people don't like for you to discuss, especially people who have been accused of being mentally ill or um, something like that. That triggers them. Did you know that? So you got to be careful. Let's 
since 2018. Gotta be careful out here. Hey, PJ, where you been? Let me see what they saying in the middle of here. Oh, that feeling release was there right there. I don't even call, look, Hood Angel, I'm not um, a therapist. I uh, play one on TV. I'm not a therapist or a psychologist. That's what it is. Psychologist or um, a psychiatrist. So, but it'd be interesting. You know what I mean? Okay, PJ. I don't know, Hood Angel, because it's just very interesting outside. You know what I mean? It is very interesting dealing with people, especially with dealing with people who don't deal with people a lot, right? Or don't have different types of people that they deal with or, you know, I don't know. I'm going to leave that alone. You are here for a purpose. Learning, realizing what matters to you. Some of y'all are about to really receive some information regarding that thing that you came here to do, that thing, 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 that thing. Laura Hill is going to strangle me fucking up her song. <laughs> but yeah, you are here for a purpose, all right? And you really have to remember that Anytime you have anything that goes on in your life that you feel, where, where Miss April go? I don't know if she's still in here. I think that was April, her name. Um, but no matter what type of setbacks you have, just remember that you are here for a purpose. Because sometimes you can get caught up in other things that will put you in a space of not allowing um, the connection to your purpose, which is already in you. The seed is planted in your brain. That looks like a brain to me, y'all. So now let's move into what I'm thinking from seeing this. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. You already have the um, artificial intelligence realm connecting with the um, spiritual realm. I wouldn't be surprised if now it goes even deeper than that, where they um, pick up the program and they probably already do it. Then. Just send me the link to tip so I can listen to it. They probably already do it. Mm -mm, don't say that. You planned it earlier. I don't know, y'all. Let me get some other cards. Because them right there, I told y'all, and it's getting late outside. Because I was going to read these other cards, but I'm like, nope. Um, and, and speak to some higher uh, realms or what have you. Uh, a beautiful young lady uh, told me, she said, now I know that you be, she said that I cater to the emerging intuitives. <laughs> I don't think that it's that, it's that so much as you got to be careful with the information that you share. You also have to be careful um, with what it is that you are sharing to the point where it has to, um, it has to come together in a certain type of way sometimes. She said, you got higher level people, but it seemed like you cater to, well, I'm sorry, it seemed like it. She knows who she is. Hey, girl. Like, no, ma'am, that's not what it is. It's just that, I, you know, if I'm guided to do so, I do. But for the most part, it'd be the simplest things, even for those who are of a higher uh, level and frequency. Sometimes it's the simplest, the, the most, it's like a little one, two salad before your, you know, your, your salad before your dinner. Your, uh, everything that I want to pull is, uh, really going there. So we got the past life cards. The past life cards may It's hard, April, because that's hard to uh, determine, Miss April, because the, the, what do you call it, vetting people, like 
somebody reached out to me about a year or two ago asking me, did I want to do retreats or what have you? The vetting would have to be so, uh, up to par. I love it. Forest Fairy Tarot. And you know what you're reminding me? Forest Fairy, Fairy Tarot said I stayed off the internet for decades until 2020. Um, you just know that you were my first inspiration. So here's the thing about that. I had inspired a lot of people from my beginning up until I started telling people <laughs> do more research. Because I didn't know that people were like literally targeting us like this. I was excited. Y'all know that. I was like, everybody just go for it. Start. Go. <laughs> it's not funny. Not gonna hold you. That shit is not funny. Okay. All right, let's see here. What um do you have for whoever it is that needs to see something about some past life energy, past life influences? This can be from your younger life. If you do not re believe in reincarnation, this could be something that connects to something that has come to you in the recent past that has to do with um, some type of ancient information, hidden knowledge or something like that. All right? It depends. You just got to figure it out, okay? What information do you have here for these beautiful people that need to hear it? A farm, okay, down home, herbologist, butcher at the butcher shop, selling produce, farm raised produce. That's what go. You know what goes into um when you when you have something like this going on. You were meant to eat a certain way, live a certain way. All right, but this has something to do with it. Egypt and a baby. They already knew who you were from a uh, from the moment that you were born. So it's the CV at babies before the CV at babies before the CV at babies. Because we got a bunch of cycles of, we have a lot of old souls, but we also have baby souls who may be confused as well. That's where you get into, like, some people just really don't get it, no matter how much you explain it to them. That's why I tell people, too, I'm not, you know, I can't talk about it. God damn. Let me think. I'm trying to, uh, you know how everybody be like, people are just so sleep, right? And then you come to terms with everybody ain't meant to be know what you know cool. So you do have baby souls who are not meant to know what you know. They came to experience something different or do things in a different type of way, whatever it is that they came to experience and master. So you want to keep that in mind. Some of y'all are connected to a farm, had a favorite horse when you were smaller or younger. The lessons and blessings, child. To get you back in tune with your true north. That looks like a clock. Okay. I don't know. Somebody visiting a lot of farmhouses and shit. Why they look like my farmhouse? That's the only farmhouse I knew how to um, make when I was younger. But there's a lot of lessons and blessings that came into whatever this is, right? Someone is um, advocating for... Um, someone is advocating for someone may have... Someone may have been wrongfully imprisoned or enslaved and somebody is advocating and this is a different type of advocating maybe a scribe or a writer but look at this see that it's a different level of the game that parchment paper looking real ancient y'all yes yeah, see went to war Somebody didn't get to see their mama because they were in prison. They didn't get to see their, um, when their mama passed, they didn't get to see them. Yeah, I'm put these up too. I might as well just get out for it then, don't it? Maybe got something to do with horseshoes. I may as well get out for it because I keep on trying not to say certain stuff. <laughs> and that's, that's not right. <laughs> I don't know where a softer, what is a softer, gentler, gentler... What is a softer dick? 
The mood just wouldn't even be soft right now. Porsche dude in here, where he at? Wow. That's amazing. You know that? That is absolutely amazing. And that's why it's so important, man, for people to connect, you know? <laughs> is that, J-Lo, why did, I, I came on the other live talking about, you know, this whole you're in this stupid thing and blah, 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 blah. And I was going to do these cards because I really do like going way the fuck out. I really do like that, but it's not, there's a time and a space for that. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So I, these are the ones that really was going to take people up and through there. I use them a couple of times on Instagram and realize very quickly that you sharing some uh, potent information with, you know, people that ain't ready for, they ain't, they ain't right there yet because they, they want to hear something about mundane things. And this is way out there so that they can pull in what triggers them or what needs what reminds them of where it is that they come from and what they came here to do and the validity like right it, it validates certain things for people and that's all they be needing is that one little confirmation though for real i don't know what's a softer thing j-lo hey You didn't, Divas. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know, man. Because I was going to say, too, I was like, some of y'all have a superpower. Because you got plenty of superpowers. You just got to make sure that you <coughs> stay up. Oh, was that rude? <laughs> it was rude. Excuse me. Because it probably was a little spray that came out with it right there. Um... Some of you have a superpower that is stored up in you that may connect to your Uranus or Pluto, uh, the sign or the house or the planet. Now, look, I'm not an astrologer or anything like that, but the things that Uranus and Pluto represent, I feel like if you master those things, you'll be that you'll be tapping into your superpower. One of them. But that's neither here nor there because I did, you know, think about that earlier because I have a I watched the new show. Cause I ain't supposed to be on here. I told her, I gave the seller their homework early. I was like, look, I'm off for the weekend. Thursday through Sunday, I'm off chatting. Here I am on here Thursday. So Porsche dude came in here. Don't tell him I'm in here for real. This is a dream. I'm not really here. I'm not really here, Porsche dude. Porsche daddy. Okay. I'm not really here. I'm not really here. It's an illusion. Where did he go? She probably had to go check on her babies. He already know. Because I did speak to him then. It's an illusion. Didi in her was in her too. The people from the cellar. Look. It's an illusion. I'm not really here. Let me see, child. I don't know, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to see what. Can I pull out? Let's pull out something about love, energy, now, Because that can go somewhere deep, too, because I start getting on people, and I ain't got no business getting on y'all like that. I do not know y'all. I do not know y'all, and I don't like the way my hand ain't matching my, my neck, my face right there. It's neither her nor other. I can't talk to you like that. I don't know you like that. Okay. I'd be like, don't take this personal, and y'all be taking it personal. Ain't nothing wrong with taking it personal. Okay. But you need to calm down. We could do the frequency cards. <laughs> I can't see not one deck of cards that I can pull out. Because I don't know what y'all want to talk about. Because this is like not really a Saturday Night Live. I 
Oh, hell no, nah, Hood Angel. You got to uh, get that together. Thank you, New Waters. I'm sorry to hear that you went through that because um, these motherfuckers be disrespectful in the spiritual realm, child. And people be out here playing and thinking that shit cute and shit. That shit is not cute. Okay? Oh, you can't sleep naked. You can't sleep naked. If they start touching you, they probably try to either drag you to hell, face ass, um, trying to do something that ain't right. It's a lot that goes into why people, why those things come and attack folks. So, but don't sleep naked. Uh, make sure that you pray before you go to bed and when you open your eyes. Try not to sleep on uh, in a fucked up position on your arm. I don't know, the whatever messed up position is. Try not to sleep in no messed up position so that you can make sense of what's going on even more so. I wear a lot of cascarilla. That's one thing that I do do. Go to bed looking like a powdered donut. I wear a cascarilla. They don't like that shit. You was on your back. I thought that was for mental disturbances, Chandelier. Because they come, if they touching your body, they touch, they, they ain't thinking about your head. Them things disrespect, it depends. Because sometimes people be calling all of them succubus and angular. Sometimes it be just be some disrespectful motherfuckers uh, found out, like, I can really do this. Yeah, stop. Weird ass motherfuckers. Stay away from the liquor, period. Hey, baby. The liquor and the weed, child. Could have been some fucked up food you ate. I don't know your life, hood angel. They got some comments in there that probably uh, help you, too. But like she said, if you drink or whatever, yeah. I don't know about animals. I guess it depends because everybody's path is different. But you have people who will connect to your animals, too. So, or, you know, sometimes if you don't do certain things, your animals can be tampered with. With whatever is trying to attack you, they get it first. It's so much to talk about when it, with all this stuff, okay? Let me see what's coming up. Not for real, we don't. Because it's like, it don't even always have to be a demon. It's just a, a dumb motherfucker. Guidance. Something that's, okay, so with this guidance card, there is something that is going to come through that you really, um, is going to have you to tap into your inner guidance. So let's look at it. Look, we got time. So something is coming through that is going to have you to really tap into, tap in with your star player. You hear me? And um, this may be that you are creating something or something that you need to create here. And that goddess card is like the hermit card. So this is a lot of awareness, not necessarily just self-awareness. This has awareness to do with your journey, your path, your purpose, hope. And y'all know over here, that's what is most important. Not what you think is important. I think this is important. Okay, so what is it then? What it got to do with your purpose? How is it pushing you towards your purpose? And how is it holding you or keeping you from your purpose? Let me know. When you're going through something, you just feel like, you know, I be having questions. Because sometimes you don't need to ask me no questions. Sometimes I need to ask you a question. You need to state what's going on. Then I need to ask you a question. You know that? Okay. Like for real. Let me mix these up good. Because these are the ones that I um, split up earlier. So hold on. But something about guidance, awareness. Something about 
uh, paying attention to the signs and symbols as well. Some of you may have a leopard or a cheetah or a black panther that is uh, strongly connected to the direction that you are going or the energy that you are um, activating or being it's being activated. Maybe one of your protectors wouldn't be surprised. You got a lot of trees in your head. A lot of growth potential. What is this guidance card, honey? The Ace of Cups. I'm searching for a real man, Gemma. Wait a minute. No, what she say? I'm asking to change his ways. Uh, and no mess. That's Michael Jackson. I remixed about three songs to try to find out what song I'm singing. New love. Before you know it, it's something coming up behind you right here. Look at it. I'm going to show you what I'm seeing. Something coming up behind you right there. You see that? The pieces are being put together. Maybe things are coming together in a space where you can actually um, you can actually put it together here. So that's one of the things, right, that I was talking about in Mediumship 101 because part of your, your um, abilities, right, you get a lot of information, you get these downloads, you get all of this information, and it's very important for you to pull out the pertinent information, which either has a lot to do with your path and your, if, you know, if it's just for you, um, the direction that you are going, what it is that you are to bring out here in this world, okay? That's why bad building friends try to get you turned around and get you to do stuff that ain't got shit to do with what you got going on, put you in that space where you forget to conquer uh, fear with love and, you know, all of the above, okay? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Look at that. See that lighthouse back there? Golden light is protecting your sacral chakra. You got a decision to make. Do you go forward or do you go backward or how do you handle what it is that um, has come here, right? So someone may be coming in. That, that could, it could be one or two things. It could be that you um, get this epiphany um, and it puts you in a, a space of emotion, deep gratitude, happiness, joy, um, things that you have, um, the information that you have received on your direction or the information that you have received that have to do with these trees coming out your head. Okay. Tree head is. So you get all this information. It's like a mosaic painting, right? You put it together. Only you can say what it is. Okay. So it's like a mosaic painting. So when you go to an art gallery, every you ask people, so what is that? What, what are you seeing? What does that mean? And you know, it looks like to me, right? The aristocrats. It looks like to me, and blah, 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 blah. Whatever this is that you are seeing, only you will be able to put it together. Only you will be able to create this. I can't stand on that enough for y'all. Okay. Because I know in my realm, that's what that is, okay? But there's a decision that needs to be made, all right? Don't let this darkness take you into a space where you make a decision that leads further into darkness instead of light. Because what I'm seeing here, I always see these shifts as darkness, okay? And that may be what's trying to cloud your judgment once this offer comes in. This um, other way that I'm seeing this is that someone from the past may be coming in wanting you to make some type of decision. Um, and it may be someone that's connected to, uh, maybe there was a, some type of experience that you had with this person. Uh, that connects to what you have become fully aware of. Thank you, J Lo. Got to put it together. Forest Fairy Tarot better come on through here with a sewing machine. <laughs> I've been hand sewing. I gave my uh, sewing machine away a few years ago. I ain't giving away nothing else. <laughs> I ain't giving away nothing else. It's not going to happen. Don't give it away, because when you need something, who's going to be there for you? So, flannel has a lot of, like, real flannel or real cotton, real um, wool. Move forward. So, yeah, somebody may be coming back from the past, but that's neither her nor there. There may be something, something that you are aware of that you're being guided to from the past as well, friends. Okay. Let me see, honey. Could you lying? I don't feel like lying to nobody, child. You got to feel like lying. You got to feel like lying. I be like, how, how the fuck do you just feel like lying all the goddamn time? Oh, I didn't do that, bitch. Okay, okay bye, a, um, Aditi. 
Bye, y'all. Safe travels. Why are you wondering how many of y'all smoke today? Why you in here? You smoke. You been smoking lights of uh, Grace. Where you at with that? On that Zaza with them young folks say it's Zaza, child. I remember one day I asked y'all, what the fuck is a Zaza? And nobody wouldn't say nothing. Everybody went quiet. Don't like telling nobody nothing. That's why I have to depend on my team because people don't tell me shit. They be on some most stuff. Stop cussing. What information do you have here about this Ace of Cups? Because somebody waiting. It's the will of fortune. Something faded to happen. Destiny. The will is up. Anybody trying to fight you over this cup? Hold on. Give up. I'm just trying to figure it out. They go to Five of Swords. Thank you, man. Keep that love energy that we talked about earlier in this uh, program. Keep that love energy popping, pop locking and dropping. All right. The thing about it, when you express love and you come from a space of love, sometimes people will say that that's you just too assertive and all that. No, you got your boundaries up and protecting yourself. Okay. Keep that in mind. Okay. Because with that five, look at that food card. With that five of uh swords, y'all know that's one of the cards I just can't stand seeing, child, because it's just so it's petty behavior, petty conversation. Things that are meant to distract you, bitch. Don't let that. Don't let nothing, nobody distract you. And I'm, I apologize for calling y'all bitches. Okay, because some people in here is a bitch though. Now let me see. Now it's four twenty, ain't it? Oh, that's why she said that. You know I can't keep up. It's Zaza. Is it Zaza or Zaza? I don't have time for y'all. What you said? It's Jaja. I don't know. No. And remember, remember, I was saying that we got to keep on with our ebonics and stuff like that, right? Now, with saying that, now you see why. Okay. But artificial intelligence know all our ebonics. It's time for some new poo. You pregnant this year. You must be an A-raise. Somebody said some new weed. It's Zaza. See? Ooh, congratulations on all these babies in here. I said Zaza. What you think I'm saying? Zaza, Zaza. Like Zaza Gabor, but it's Zaza. Za is short for exotic. Teach a nigga. Wait a minute. <laughs> what is your name? I'm, I'm done. Okay, D. What is... <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> What is uh, going on right here? So this is a perfect opportunity for you to continue to move forward, basically. I would suggest, okay, there's a lot of heightened information coming through. Of course, like J-Lo said, we got these transits going on, okay? Somebody is traveling to come and see you. They may be on their way right now, okay? Coming out of nowhere with that world card. They finished some type of cycle. Okay, that's for one person. Trying to figure it out, like Nigeria. Oh, Enaja. I'm fucking it up, man. Yeah, Dro is from Dro. Some gas, some fire, some Enaja. Okay, <laughs> play myself right there. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know, man. Make sure that you master your surroundings, whatever you're doing, okay? Because like I told y'all before, just because I don't smoke and drink no more don't mean that I don't understand how it go. It ain't like, you. if you done been through something, you can understand where other people are coming from. That's going through some, and just pray that, you know, you know, they get to that, the, that side, right? Whatever, y'all. Herbal essence. 
Okay, baby, please. Ooh, it's a storm. Ooh, shaking in my boots. Ooh, it's a storm. Child, if you don't get your... All right, so it's a storm approaching to walk you into this new world. Some, some of you may be in your gathering stage where you are studying and learning and moving forward. Now, let's just look at the card, child. A storm coming out of nowhere. It's been raining like a motherfucking in Texas. Okay. All right, so there's a storm here. Tower, illusions, things being brought down that no longer serve you, things that you need to rid yourself of, clear the clutter, whatever that is, okay? Something is happening before. Um, okay, so usually, I don't know why I keep getting distractions, right? So I'm, what I'm seeing here is all of this stuff over here, all of this darkness over here. But see how this light looks like somebody um, stepping forth out of the clouds, stepping out the clouds. I don't know if y'all going to be seeing stuff in the class. I ain't looking up there. Okay. I did a little one, two for the eclipse. Okay. Because I was like, I ain't going to do that. End up doing it. Shut the fuck up. All right. So maybe a, a shit storm coming. Okay. So we know what happens with shit storms. All right. Shit just get to flying everywhere. All right. And you ain't going to be able to make sense of it. I got to stop cussing. <laughs> You ain't going to be able to make sense of it until after it's over so that you can see what is going on with calm clarity. Like, I don't know what's just happened, what it is that, you know, whatever this is, right? Because when you see the tower, you have to see if it's a self-made tower, if it's a tower that was meant to happen or if somebody else tried to cause a tower. But I really feel like this is a protective measure, something uh, that you um, are going through is being, you are being protected. Maybe you're being protected from this storm, but it's still going to happen. It got to happen. Okay, let me see now because I could be lying. I don't want to lie to you now. I cry to you for a lie to you, child. So let me see here. Whoever this is that stepped out, I don't know if y'all been saying um, God uh, send your angels to have charge over me. I don't know what y'all been doing, but it's working. Okay, I'm telling you right now, that looks like an angelic um, being. That's what it looked like to me. A woman is peeking out this cloud as well as a man. They are in the light too. Someone here. Child, y'all about to see who the false light is. Let me see. Child, somebody right here. Okay, don't start that. <laughs> but there is something here where the, it could be a man or a woman who is peeking or being shown. The veil is being lifted on somebody when this tower hit. And... They try to be in the, like one of these people try to be in the light. Maybe it's, it's the, the storm, this tower had to happen. Process, process it. Hold on. Maybe this tower had to happen to bring out your light side even more so. But I don't think this you. Because of the nose. It's a skeleton. Let me show you. I didn't want to show you. Because, you know, some of y'all are very, very sensitive and, and this thing might come through the screen. And there you go, 51, 50 ratchet, blaming me for the shit. Do you know how many people blame me for shit I ain't do? Let me see this here. Let me show you what this lady, it's a lady that was um, shape-shifting as, as a man in light or a man shape-shifting as a woman. You see it right there? That go her face. Her or him, it's a skeleton person. They've been gone a long time because their hair is real long. When you pass, your hair still be growing your nails. They used to, um, I used to wonder about that when I was younger. All right. But y'all are really covered, whoever this is, for real. But let me clarify here. Because it's like something is being broken down before it even gets to a space where it's like before you um, complete something, before you do something, before you make something happen, Something is going to occur. And this isn't necessarily to redirect you. This is to clear the space so that you can see things for exactly what they are. I do recommend going through this right here with love, faith, and joy. Because whatever is happening, you know, it's for your betterment. I'm just saying. I've been saying this right here in my life before. And when you do go through something like this where you know that you are protected and you just sit there and let happen what needs to happen. Smooth sailing, baby. Let me see now. Before this person can, before this person over here. Smooth 
So that lightning is going like this to this person. I'm just saying that's why I recommend people do the best that they can with, you know, honoring and protecting and connecting with the highest of all, baby. Beyond the firmament or whatever y'all call that. Learned about that last year. What the hell is a firmament? Got time to be knowing all that crazy ass shit, man. Y'all ain't even never heard me just sit on here and be talking about annual knockers and shit. It's the purpose. Anunnakis and all that shit right there. The Anunnakis want the gold. The Anunnakis is doing this. The Nephilim is doing that. Talk about that real early. They talk about Nephilim. But I don't have time for all that. Shit. We have to build up our strength, our armor, build up our strength, our power, so that we'll be able to fight for ourselves and other people. If you start worrying so much about the problem and the opposition, bitch, you're gonna become the you're gonna become the out to somebody. I'm too worried about it. Calm down. Don't talk to these people like that. You need to get your ass off YouTube. Yep. What is this storm here for whoever uh, this is protecting? The Empress, Libra, or Taurus, but overall someone who may even be pregnant, nine of swords. Something is meant, somebody may be trying to cause you some sort of anxiety. Keep your boundaries together, trying to cause you to, there were that five of swords behind it. I just don't like seeing that five of swords, okay? I need to heal from that number. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like it. <laughs> ghetto, man. Five of Swords is some ghetto. And any of the fives, really. But the Five of Swords is, is ghetto. It don't make sense. Whatever. All right. Let me see, child. What is this Empress in this storm here? Somebody's mother. But overall, this could be that you need to stay in your empress energy and allow this all this stuff. Like, allow yourself to be taken care of at this time, child. It's going to be fine. Don't lose your cool or act a fool, honey. Let me get these other cards. It's a little bit all over the place today. I like it. What else? Because I didn't come on here to do no reads. Shit, y'all better go watch them reads that we not really did over there that y'all ain't caught. Let me see now. What's going on with this empress, honey? The Hierophant, maybe a job, commitment, a marriage. What's happening right here? Maybe you took a vow. Like I said, I think that some of y'all may have been praying and really are turning into the prayer warriors that you respected when you were young. It's right here. Because who has this type of protection that, that's really been out here fucking up? If you've really been out here fucking up, you're not going to have this kind of protection. Somebody has that type of protection. And it's coming from a higher source, protecting you in the time of change. The hierophant is a number five. Speaking of them fives I was talking about. This is happening in divine order in accordance with divine law. Blue shoes. Okay, blue shoes and blue flowers. What's the name of them damn thing? Blue bunnies. That's Texas shit, ain't it? Blue bunnies. I don't know what these are. Those are only blue flowers I could think of. Blue bunnies. Face ass. Okay. You're about to get a lot of clarity when this, whenever this uh hits. They want you to observe it um outside of yourself, detached from any drama that's going on. It's so important. Detach from any drama that may be going on, anything that may be crossing your path at this time, you need to detach from it and be an observer outside of yourself. Some things you may need to even experience through the eyes of someone else in order for you to get the clarity that you need. That was a fake lightning storm, which reminds me of why heart keep coming up. I be watching some of those uh, channels with um, a lot of whistleblowers and stuff like that. Wendy Webb is somebody I came across the other day. She be with blowing the whistle. But a lot of the whistleblowers and the channels over there, right? So I'm like, now why do why do people target certain people? When you got all this over here that could be targeted. That lets you know it's some more shit going on. Okay. This is General Joy. Where you been? The five hierophant beats the five of swords every time. But this could be a job situation. Something that you've been waiting for. Seven, seven. 
Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Your hard work paying off. Something that you may have um, invested in or done in the past is coming to... Yep, I was about to say coming to some type of... Uh, it's wrapping up and the world card is here. Seven, uh, six of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. You need to uh, move forward joyously. Only surrounding yourself with joyous people as well. Keep your spirits high. I'm trying to tell you. Because wherever it is that you are led is where you're going to be fed. And here you will breed and be bred. Hello. That didn't come out right. Okay. Now then. It won't be too much. Know that it won't be too much. You may have to um, get more into your exercise, yoga, whatever. Some type of regime. Taking care of your health with this right here. Okay. Somebody had bruised ribs. Hold on. Somebody going to court, too, about a baby. All right? Or going to court with a child's mother, co-parenting. It may be a marriage that's coming through that you're going to uh, have, too. All right. So let's see here. With this six, seven of um, coins, follow the sacred beetle, the scarab beetle. I feel like you're being led. Now, it doesn't have to be the scarab beetle. All right? But that's what's that's what's that's what it's giving. Strong in the spirit. Strong in the spirit but needing to take care of the physical. Okay? We never forget that. We take care of the mind, body, the spirit. Okay? Let's, let's, let's be clear. Okay? You can't teach about one thing and not talk about the other one. Get you too caught up in one of the realms. You'll get too caught up in the mental realm if you ain't talking about, you know, how to... Um, Elevate and evolve in the, all of the other realms. Did you know that? Thank you. Seeing things exactly for what they are. Being very vocal about certain things as well. <clears throat> what that six gives me. <laughs> that was a wild ass house. With that six of wands, I feel as though you, um, you and other people are on the pad. But it's like. You are standing fully in what it is that you came here to do after this tower. You're going to see how I think that they're going to show you something about yourself, how your individuality, your personal power. OK, how you connect to things, how you. You you showing up. Let me show you what I'm talking about. OK, you see this. He got on a blue turban. I still don't know what these are. He has on a blue turban with a little blue um, thing around his waist with a white skirt. All right. So this is about um, showing and proving instead of having to. You don't have to say you don't have to say you stand in your power and you hold close to your power. You see, you don't have to say a lot about your direction or who you are and how you go. You will be victorious and rewarded as well as celebrated. But you have a lot of assistance and support holding red wands. Red is root chopper. Red is the foundation of your bloodline. Red, red is possibly your ancestors. They got on orange hats. Orange, uh, maybe there's a lot of matriarchs that support you, but overall they may be um, connected more so to the service that you come here to do. All right. Ain't no specific sign because we ain't supposed to, we, we ain't even on her, Shanika, uh, Mika. Shamika, we ain't even really on her. It's an illusion. Hey, uh, Tim Webster, I started to block you. I probably should have blocked you a long time ago. <clears throat> you do have it. You do have protection. Life of grace, don't be, don't do that. All right, let me see here. Oh, that's the six of wands. I said the seven and seven. That's the 67, 76. All right. You're welcome, Shamika, Miss Shamika. All right. So let's get another story out. All right. Let's get another story out.
What information do you have here for who needs to hear it, child? The real gonna feel. New addition. Ooh, somebody's having a child or welcoming in healing. So there's a new addition that's going to come in and heal, um, be medicine to the family. So it doesn't have to be a child. It could be somebody wanting to move in. All right. Uh, maybe someone is getting an additional degree as well here. Acceptance, being accepted in the community. Seven of Wands and the World Creed. Seven of Wands and the World. All right. Protecting yourself and those that you love. All right. Now, this uh, world card. A cycle has really much, very much so closed out. Whatever it is, that healing comes with this three of swords. So someone is healing. Communicating. Wanting to communicate about the steps that they took in order for them to heal. Because they have mental clarity. All right. So this is a seven of wands, which is all about challenges, challenging people from whatever spaces could be um, you going into a space where you are adding more of this um, healing energy to your realm and protecting yourself from things. It could be stuff on social media. People on social media is something like the people at a distance, seven of wands. But overall, this can be a challenging experience. So they want you to stand on your square. Know you are there, okay? With that seven of wands, a lot of spiritual insight, a lot of information coming in. Someone may have a child that's like 12 or 13 here. Let me clarify them. All right, what is this new addition? I don't know. Somebody may have adopted a child. Uh, is somebody on here adopting a child or getting a child from another country? Child, what y'all got going on? And there may be certain types of, um, what do you call it? Red tape. Mm -hmm. Arizona. Oh, that's what I was going to say, too, real quick. Be careful uh, going into different mountains. Do your research on different mountains, things that have happened in these mountains and all of those to-dos, okay? Be very careful if this came out. So some type of insight or clarity, a message. Insight, clarity, or a message. It could be a download, but I feel like somebody or some something is communicating to you. Maybe somebody want to move with you or... Um, is adding. Maybe they need to use your garage. It could be that simple, but it's going to be a healing experience. You know how if you keep somebody dog and or they baby or whatever, and it's a healing experience, right? Maybe it's something that is uh, changing in your in the your your everyday to dos. To and it's really something that sees how structured you are, how linear are you really? How will you welcome in this healing energy that's coming through? I feel like there's a lot of insight coming out of the mud, muddy water, a muddy situation. Let the tide turn. What is this new addition? Somebody will be contacting you within the next 24 hours. The emperor and judgment, making a decision. Maybe this has to do with um, co-parenting again. Could be some type of legality, something owed to you. This is either courthouse justice or judgment or spiritual. It can be either one or just a person, that emperor and the judgment card. A rebirth or a renewal with an emperor. Could be your daddy. If you, um, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> ah! Look at this. The magician and the devil. Bad deal and friends. All right. Let's look at them. Okay. So this is the magician and the devil. I'm going to read these. All right. So you got bad deal over here. Right. While you're in this space of healing, justice will prevail. But you got to be mindful. There may be some things that come up. 
right? So there may be a number of things. So that's how it happens sometimes too, to make sure that you are in alignment with your assignment and you are really using your discernment before making certain choices. Okay. Especially with this energy that we've been in. Okay. So bad building friends is here. You got healing here. And then you got that balancing it all out with that four of swords, which is also in the traditional deck that, um, after a battle or war or what have you, you go and, you know, um, lick your wounds, right? Allow yourself to heal, get some rest and all the things to do so that you can get back out there because the, you win a battle, but the war ain't never over, right? So you gather yourself. So bad build is here presenting itself, right? While you are healing. And you got to remember, you do have to make sure that you protect yourself when you are going through certain levels of life. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. Levels of life. When you go through certain levels of life, all right, doing the right things for the right reasons, justice will prevail. So there may be things that you are rejecting. You're rejecting some things here. And with this Ace of Cups, that's going to be the one that comes through. There's an artificial uh, cup coming through. Okay. So, okay, so the Ace of Cups. So there may be an artificial cup or message that comes through. It kind of looks like, see, this is, this is, um, okay. So things work out in your favor, right? Bad bill, whatever that is to you, it could be a thought, a way of life, an obsession, addiction, bondage, bound to some type of habit or the way that you do certain things. It could be people, place, situations, but all of them connect to me. It's just different levels in that dark ass kingdom hope. All right. So you are over here healing and getting things together and justice prevails. And that um, balance in that four of swords is Libra. So you get this justice over here, right? So let's put these right here. So then you have the four of cups. And I showed them last year and now I'm seeing it again. All right, let me show you. So these are the things that you've um, dealt with in your life. These are um, things that stand out in this cycle that you are in. So these are things that you've dealt with in your life, right? You can probably pinpoint them, maybe three things, four things, however many things, but they usually, if it's more than um, three, three or more, they connect and branch off of each other. They connect to others. So then you get to the primary one. So there's three primary things here, right? Dirty glasses, dirty asses. So this bad building friend's back here hiding behind this thing. She gonna do it. She gonna take it. She gonna take the bait. She gonna take the bait. No, ho. Okay, don't take the bait, ho. All right. This may have to do with Hinduism, Buddhism. This looks like a look. One of those Buddha Buddhas here at the bottom of this thing. Look at this. Uh oh. See up under that cup. Uh oh. Right here. When the offer come in, something is going to tell you that you need to go into meditation. Something is going to tell you that you need to seek wise counsel. Something is going to come in and tell you that um, everything that glitter ain't gold, ho. Everything that's cute ain't cute, ho. Okay? Just because you like little furry kittens, that kitten going to turn. It's a shape-shifting kitten. Okay? It's late. Now. So, boom. Back door joke. All right? So, if you take this, you're going to send me level. All right. But if you just wait just a little bit longer, have faith. Hold on, baby. OK. Ask. Connect, connect, connect. Ask. So you can make sure that you're making the right decision and making the right choice. All right. And then you will know because when you reject whatever this is, right, like, no, nah, I don't think that's it. Ho. When you reject whatever that is, you're going to realize you don't even feel you weren't attached to the outcome of the rejection. You weren't attached to um, any of the things that they were trying to do. What is that? That like a vase that's cracked in the middle. It look like one of them Aztec vases. That's significant to somebody. I don't know what that is. But that card, that's funny because they haven't. Um, I haven't uh, paid attention to that in a long time. Somebody granddaddy up here. Okay, look at that. He got a white beard. Somebody has a white beard and a point. It's his nose is kind of pointed, but it's wide here. Let me see if I can do it. Whatever. You can't see it. I'm trying to do it. Okay. But he's on top of this. All right. Let me finish. 
All right, so they're going to ace the cups and the king of wands with the knight of pentacles. All right, somebody is going to reach out to you with some type of offer, possibly want to see where you where you coming and going with this. OK, but um, overall, it's something that you are excited to hear. You will know that this is the right thing. The ace of uh, cups is a very intuitive card. Right. This is emotion. This is picking it up vibrationally. You may get chills all throughout your body when this message comes through. OK, and it's like take your time with that knight of pentacles. Uh, Knight of Wands, uh, Knight of Swords, let the motherfuckers say what they're going to say. King of Pentacles, the Emperor. They may work for someone here. You may um, be in a space where maybe y'all work together or y'all do the same type of work. But overall, what I'm getting with this, let me show you something. Take your time, child. I know you ain't going to sing that song. All right. I know you ain't. All right. So let me put these up. So you got the Ace of Cups, right? This vibes with, with your tribe, okay? So this is someone that may be closely connected to you in some type of way. They want you to make sure that you got all of the details. Uh, you get everything in black and white. The Knight of Swords and the King of Pentacles, all right? So this person is coming through. Someone may be coming through out of nowhere. You want They want you to let somebody speak their peace. Maybe you got to let all these motherfuckers speak their peace or her folks out a little more. But you got to know, you know, when to hold and when to fold. When even like, I'm not letting you in my ear. I'm not letting you in my eyes, bitch. Okay. So the Knight of Swords and the King of Pentacles. So this may be someone who um, is intrigued by their boss or being led by someone. We've got the Page of Swords here. All right. Let me look at it right now. Because you're going to have to assert yourself. You might be that emperor. You may have to assert yourself because you're dealing with a lot of different people, a lot of different energies. I feel like this may, I don't feel like a lot of this is um, romantic. Now, if it is, that's your life, honey, because I do not know you. Okay. Someone has an eye to see. They are very much so connected to the most high, but this other person is, well, maybe that's a transition. Maybe they are in a transitory space, this King of Pentacles and this Emperor. Maybe they're in a transitory space. But there is something coming through, like a number of, um, there's going to be a lot of communication. I do feel that there is going to be a lot of communication while this person is going through some process. Maybe they're leaving a job and becoming an entrepreneur. Maybe they are in a space with that King of Pentacles. Maybe it's your big brother or your, you know, this your daddy's son. With that Knight of Swords, just be saying shit. You know, hear them out. Not too much, though. Okay. Let me see, child, what they said. Somebody got some paperwork on this emperor. So there's some type of paper paperwork that needs to be signed. Okay. Let me get up out of it. Because where all these men come from? It don't have to be men. It could be women, too. But I think that's your daddy's son. Okay. Just saying shit, but it's like you're going to get the proof of whatever is being said. Just hear people out so that you can see if things add up to what it is, that, what it is that they see. All right. So over here, we got the magician. All right. New life cycle, new beginning. Don't forget the book of this has to do with healing. A new addition. Somebody made. OK, so maybe that is one of the things that's coming through. Someone needs for you to keep keep some kids for them. It's something about adoption. Not necessarily just because these kids are in here. I'm just really getting that uh, you are intertwining with another person. I know that can be like the Kundalini, DNA, nurse, hospital, whatever that is, chill. Maybe somebody needs to come heal at your house, chill. So the magician card, this is a new life cycle, boom. Um, experience. But you got the magician and the tower, all right? So... This is to see how you operate in this new life cycle. So you are using your, re you're being very resourceful and it's like you're gathering all of your resources and being able to put them in place and know what it is that you need to do and how you need to do it, what your go-tos are. It's kind of like when you're living in the land of Mad Max or the book of Eli, something like that, everybody gone, it's like about five or 10 people, everybody dressed like they hood rats and shit. And so what happens is the tower hits after you gather all of your resources begin to really, um, they show you everything that you're going to need to do before this tower hits. And this will be something that brings you into clarity. So how you use your sword, the way that you plan to use your sword is going to have you to be able to move out of this tower with clarity, calmness, gentleness, ease, and grace. So maybe you're going through a one, two quick test run, test run. 
That's what it's looking like. Now, you can read this however you want to. I showed you the cards. It's the magician, the tower, and the six of swords. What does that mean to you, honey? All right. Moving away. Maybe something that you manifested is breaking up and moving apart in order for you to move away. That could be happening as well, right? Time's up, seven up, okay? I don't even know what y'all talking about today. Clap my hands, stomp my feet. Every little thing that you do to me feels so good. So good. Thank you, J-Lo, keeping it um, rock, pop, locking, and dropping. Make sure that y'all um, sign the uh, petition as well, please. And thank you for those of you who have not. Boom, there it is. It's in the, um, if you go up and down the video tab, live and video tab, where there are indie reads, you will be able to see that as well as on the community tab. Some of y'all ain't even looked at the, um, watch the indie reads because they don't show them to you on your notifications. All the more reason to sign a petition, not just for me, but for other people who may be victims, child. This is gonna be a slow and um slow and very much so we gotta take our time. So everybody needs to go sign. We almost had a thousand. Had everybody been getting no notifications, y'all know that they would have been done, we would have been up in the numbers had everybody been getting their notifications. But that's the design. <laughs> ah, let's look at it, y'all. I can bring my phone in here. Who even knows? Who even knows, y'all? You need another journal. Did you finish the first journal, though? I know that's what you're saying, but I'm trying to figure it out. Thank you, April. You're welcome. I'm I'm happy for you to be here. Miss Shamika, you still in here? Because people going to start leaving out in a second. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if she the ass ain't there. Is she the still in here? Because she the will irk off on her ass. Thank you for showing up. I don't show up if y'all don't show up. You know what I mean? I just have to meet y'all outside. That's why y'all need to be um, on my um, email list. But I can't force you to do nothing. So you get on my email list, I can let you know, little bitch. They done took me down, ho, so I'm outside. Tell your people that I'm being your city, your state. We outside, ho. All right, go anyway. What information do you have here for these people? Oh, child. The ghetto. Talking about the... Okay, breathe. Let that shit out. Fill up your lungs with all of the beauty of the world and the universe and all that. Right Inhale some fruit. Your favorite fruit or your favorite scent. Inhale it. Take yourself back to a beautiful memory that you possess in that space. And exhale some of the most stankiest shit you ever smelled in your life. Switch it up. Switch your room. Inhale. Exhale the bullshit. And you got to really smell something that is just foul coming up out of you. It's part of your visualization. All right? So you got to breathe. 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 Now, I know many times I have said this. I'm going to say it again. Number one, you need to be drinking a lot of water. H2 the fuck up. <laughs> Thank you. You need to be drinking a whole lot of water, honey. All right? You need to be exercising, walking, jogging, stretching, Flexing, okay, because I just started doing flow Pilates to add to my little treadmill one, too. I'm slowly but surely. I'm very slow. But for those of you who um, really need to let some things out, let some things go, do your lymph brushing, your lymph exercise, go get you a lymph massage, hold, okay, with your pretend BBL, okay? Y'all know I know about that very well. I do have pretend BBL sometimes. Now, with this breathe card, you're going to need to really get outside, all right? Get some good pronta, okay? Go outside and connect with the earthly vibes. You need to be in the wind, friend. Hello, hello. That says look. I don't even think that's... That says look, okay? Get your heart energy going up. Make sure that you are in a space where you are having your... Car do your cardio. Some of y'all. I don't know. 
I'm not a fitness new uh fit uh, uh nutritionist or a fitness instructor instructor. I do pray play one sometimes. Pray one. I need to break. Let's see what this got to do with y'all. I'm so glad they took me out all that uh, energy, child. I had to get up out that energy. Like, girl, you can't be in here talking to these people like that. Okay. Let's get this uh, crystal wisdom coin. What is this breed that you're telling these people about? Because why do they just need the breed? And it's so important to take um, in, um, deep inhales and exhales. Ever so often, all throughout of the day, just really sit with yourself and do some breathing exercises, right? To run that oxygen all up and through your child, purify your spirit, child, run it up and through you. Take things to make us piss and take things to make us get a swift of wind, bitch. Okay. Thank you. What is this breathe card? Need more oxygen in your brain. Sometimes you can feel cloudy. Uh, discombobulated. Sometimes you can feel as though, you know, you can't make a decision or you don't have, you may, uh, you may feel, okay, so whoever this is may um, be having a low self-esteem, low confidence, low confidence. <laughs> okay. Something that you need to say, be patient with yourself, Okay. Take time in your process. If you are someone who is really going through some type of spiritual upset or you're being elevated in a certain type of way, they really need you to focus on your breath. Maybe need to check your breath. Okay, see what it's giving. It can be that simple sometimes. All right. What is this here? This is a lot of release. I feel like some of you are in a space where you're really opening up your throat chakra. So, of course, it's going to be important that you um, are mindful of the words that you say, the things that you speak, as well as the transformation and the transmission that is happening in the throat area. Don't be like me. A couple of weeks ago, I had some I really need to say. And instead of, if I if I didn't say what I needed to say, I kept biting my tongue. And usually, right, in the past, if I bite my tongue, it would be that I don't need to say something. In that space I was in, I had stuff I need to say or bite my tongue. So hopefully you don't bite your tongue and it mean that to each thing I own. But I be damned, child. What is this uh, breathe card here for whoever this is? I'm talking to a lot of love energy swirling about in that breath. Brandenburg Amethyst. Random bird amethyst, a number 38. A number 38. Ding dong, da ding ding dong, dong, da ding dong, ding. Ding dong, da ding ding dong, da ding ding dong, dong, ding. Ding dong, da ding ding dong, dong, da ding ding ding. Brandenburg. The perfect blueprint, a master healer, honey. The Brandenburg Amethyst holds the perfect blueprint of your soul and all that is. It heals physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, karmic, planetary, and ancestral, ancestral auric layers. Hello. And imprints the most energetic, perfect energetic pattern possible. Say it four times. Perfect energetic pattern possible. The most perfect energetic pattern possible. Ho, oh, y'all, try to figure it out. Y'all need to calm down. Y'all be disrespectful. The self-understanding is you are being a pure consciousness and are wonderful just the way the fuck you are. I don't know who need to tell you, but we telling you today. Me and this little amethyst child, embrace the clarity of your core being. Embrace the clarity of your core being and breathe. Francesca. Now, um, let go of mental constructs, karmic imprints, soul imperatives, and relationships that no longer serve. Let's say it again. Let go of mental constructs. Hello. Okay. Karmic imprints. Hello. Soul imperatives. Hello. And relationships that no longer serve. Let that hoe go and let that hoe know. It's very important for your growth. All right. Heal the pain. Heal the past, like you would heal your ass if something happened to it, wouldn't it? All right, heal the past. Reframe 
previous choices that you have made in your life and take a new pathway to step into your soul's purpose and expand to higher dimensions of your soul. Say it again, right? Slow down. Reframe previous choices that you have made in your life and take a new pathway to step into your soul's purpose and expand higher dimensions of your soul. Mm. The divination is you are perfect exactly as the fuck you are. It says it in her. Uh, it's subliminal. All right. You are perfect exactly as you are in the present moment. You are perfect exactly as you are in the present moment. Affirm. Hold it here and breathe. And every deep breath say that shit. I am perfect exactly as I am in the present moment. Do it, y'all. I am perfect exactly as I am in the present moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all that has been done, will be done as we continue to move forward. I appreciate you. Mm, thank you. Blessings to all. Uh, it says here, self-discipline and clear focus. Bring your dreams to fruition. Self-discipline. Self-discipline and clear focus, people. Self-discipline and clear focus bring your dreams to fruition. Self-discipline and clear focus brings your dreams to fruition. Aim for the highest, do die. Do, do, do. Get super. Okay. So, oh, uh, comedy, um, BT joke, whatever. Healing insight, you are perfect exactly the way you are. You are perfect exactly the fuck the way you are. Try to figure it out. It's fair. The frequency is extremely high. <laughs> As we know, the, 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 um, the frequency is extremely high. The chakras is all, including the, including the highest of them out. We go up into that, uh, that earth star. The earth star going to let you know that you're exactly where you're supposed to be and where you are. Home. Okay. No matter what timeline you think you are. Figure it out. All right. The soul path is seeing the perfection, seeing the perfection in each moment. So let's talk about it. I need me a little safety pen. But let's talk about it, Chuck. Okay. I need a stapler. I'll take a little stapler. Hold on. Chuck, what y'all been saying? Hold on now. I can't staple this little thing, Chuck. I ain't got time to be looking for no damn safety pen. I'm gonna go watch my little show. The fuck you thought? Well, watch my uh, little show, child. Because I have been invested. Okay, I am really invested in that little show, child. So, yes, that is the Brandenburg Amethyst, honey. I hope you have fun with that. Uh, that is my TED talk about the whole to do because I really feel like where you are, like they see it, I believe what they see. I don't see no harm in it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm an advocate for it. I advocate for what they just said. Okay? I do. I bullshit you not. All right? Bullshit ain't number two, though, grass and insects and shit. Ain't nothing in bullshit. But it's think like some. It's a lot going on. Ain't they herbivores? Oh, no shit. I just remember old McDonald. I don't remember everything else they taught me about them little animals and things. Me to calm down. Let me see now. That's right. Clear focus. It didn't say self-focus, did it? Now hold on now. Mind of minds. Oh, that's why that's why you said self-focus. Okay, paper clip. I had to do me a little one-two staple. That was the closest thing in here. Whatever. I love you too. Okay, lights of grace. What time is it, y'all? Y'all really is on here, child. But make sure that y'all sign it. Thank you, J-Lo. Yeah, that art of affirmations is going in. I got to make some more videos for that, too. Thank you, J-Lo. All right, let's, let, now y'all done? Y'all done as y'all finished? World famous, where you been? You know, I ain't been on Instagram in a while. World Famous was on our Ask a Man series or segment last year when I was really over there on Instagram. 
doing the most. Yeah, I was on there every day, like, girl, what is you even doing on there every day? Child, please. Okay, world famous. Fabio, that's what we were calling him. And he is very, uh, not trying to be hearing all that shit, but he know it. Y'all know that. Whatever. Fabio, okay. Let me see, honey. I don't know what y'all got going on. Y'all done or y'all finished? What information do you have here? What information do you have here, honey? That's that healing energy again. Enlightenment. That makes sense. Oh, let me show you, honey. Healing. Enlightenment. All right. One more. The decision is sitting up under that. So you heal. Go into a space where you are seeing clearly you hovering over the bullshit. You hovering over the problems, the issues. You hovering over something that needs to be done. You hovering over it. Like I was telling y'all about Probably was 30 minutes ago. It's kind of like that. Observing from a distance. Not making a decision. Wait until you heal or things become clear. Something with the lower back, the lower spine. Somebody waiting to hear from you. That was the king of wands and the three of wands. So someone may be anticipating your arrival or anticipating your healing. All right. And the King of Wands in this deck is a very interesting person because of how he is kind of leaning forward like he's going to, he like, bitch, I get off this throne. And I'm going to ask you, do they always ready for something? King of Wands. About that, we about that action. But um, there is something that you may be anticipating that you know that you're going to have to make a decision when you get to this, this uh, resting space. Okay. Whoever this is has a really good heart. Okay, so with this eye of Horus and this healing, with this enlightenment and this healing, you have, whoever this is has a really, really good heart, but you're being shown something here. So you may have be, um, of course, he, um, healers have to be healed or work on their own healing to also be an expression of that in the world in the different ways that they help to heal other people. Your presence probably just healing. So let me show you something. In your healing, I feel like you're going, whoever this is, then they're healing because their heart is so good. And maybe a lot of people have taken advantage of you in the past. And that's a huge, um, that's a lot of work that you've had to do. Maybe your healing has to do with not letting people take advantage of you. Because I don't know why I feel like there's a certain bird that you are connecting to that really is. I'm, I don't want to say eagle because, of course, this uh, his head is not an eagle. I don't want to say eagle, falcon, phoenix. I don't want to say any of those birds. It may not even be a bird on earth. What the hell is a condor? <sighs> And I don't know about animals. I told y'all old McDonough had a form. And a lot of the stuff that uh, y'all know about, because I didn't know his form should have had orcas. His form should have had orcas. Okay? All right. The journey of healing or the journey of enlightenment, you got to make them, they have to meet each other. They have to come to grips, come into grips with the direction that you are going, making a decision to go with the flow. But let me show you. The way I'm looking at that. You see that? All right. So this is a huge decision. Which way will it take you? It's all going to meet up back. Um, so either either direction that calm down. Either direction that you decide to go is going to lead you into the other decision that you are to make. So if no matter which which decision that you make, which boat you take, or which direction you go on your little boat. Oh, I don't think it's a canoe, it's a it's a yacht. On your yacht, you make a decision to go the direction that you need to go. And depending on the decision that you make, something is breached. 
Maybe there was a security breach. Somebody is discussing a, a security breach. Okay, hold on. So the decision that you make, either direction that you decide to go, one uh, direction that is being brought to you or that um, you have a, an, it's an option to go that way. It's not going to be as um, adventurous as what I want to call it. Some people may not see it as, a, as adventurous because I feel like anything that will teach me something, it will strengthen me where I am weak, right? So there's one way that you can go that will allow, it's, it's going to feel smooth and sturdy. But when you when those paths meet up and, and join and then go out into the sea, it's something like that. So on this other side, if you go that way, where there's some type of security breach or there's a breach in um, how you travel this other direction, something will something will show you'll be shown something in a number of different ways, depending on the decision that you make. You see that? Let me show you. All right. The breach is the way that that um, boat is sitting. You see that? If that boat keeps um, trying to go that way, it's going to get stuck. You're being enlightened to straighten up, straighten up, straighten narrow. The path is narrow. You either go this way or that way. So this is what I was saying. Get out of my fucking face. The fuck? All right. So you need to straighten up, which is part of that healing and that enlightenment. Because when it comes to you making this decision on which direction you're going to go, this side over here doesn't have any distractions, any, you know, um, any problems. Distractions must be the word of the night. But it doesn't have um, anything that will um, get in your way. Maybe small things, but nothing too major. But on this side, it's a crocodile waiting. Something unexpected. Now, don't let that, don't, don't let that because what we talk about earlier now, come on, Clays, don't allow that to be why you don't make a decision to go one way or the other. Because you ain't got time to be dealing with no crocodiles and no um, muddy waters or people, um, uh, bottom dwelling bitches and shit, right? So don't let that be a distraction. Because like I said, anything that you go through is going to make you stronger. Anything that you go through is going to provide you a new resource, a new tool. So that when you get back to that magician energy, right, which is major, major parts of your life, you'll know exactly how to use something that you may not have been. You didn't even know that. Like, I didn't even know I would need that. I didn't even know that'd be more empowered than what it already is. I didn't know that I could strengthen that gift like that. I'm trying to figure it out. That's why she don't take no L's. All right. So let me see, y'all, because I could be telling a fib but a do. Okay, thank you, J-Lo, for hanging in there with me. Did she leave? I think so. <clears throat> I have to come back on another day and... um. All right, let's see here. What is this healing energy? Learning the ropes? Something about learning the ropes. That's life, ain't it? All right, what 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 you mean by learning the ropes? That's that healing journey, right? Because that that's interesting to me. Um, I had a conversation with someone, and uh, it was like, okay, maybe I can ask y'all. I don't go, Sheeta. To my note, I'm sure. I already, Sheeta. The hell? Man, Sheeta, we used to act up on them Saturdays. All right. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all know it, but some of y'all knew her. We've been on better behavior this year. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe some of y'all can discuss. People who are into energy don't. A lot of people who are deep, deep, deep into energy, frequency, vibrations, and all that, they do not discuss the spiritual aspect of the entities. I think that's what it is. Okay, so I think that maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm answering my own question right here. Where uh, people who are deep, deep, deep into energy, and that's all they know is energy because, you know, maybe they hadn't been called to deal with the other things, right? Maybe, I don't know, or see it differently. But maybe they call them entities more so than uh, no good motherfuckers. 
<laughs> inferior spirits, right? Uh, so many levels to that. But I'm, I found that interesting, but I'm not interested enough to give a fuck, right? Really. All right. So let me see here. What is this healing? Clarify this healing and what information needs to be. Okay. The emperor. The star. That healing can be the star card for real. Somebody poured out. They did all that they can do with this uh, star card. Okay, so this is somebody that had to really go through some. I don't know. They had to take their lick. It's what it's looking like. Whoever this is really had to go through some things. Aries, Aquarius, all right? Double Aquarius. Somebody really had to go through some things in order for them to really, you know, show and prove that they the emperor around this thing. Okay. Won't be talking a lot, doing a lot. Yeah. Whoever this is really went through some stuff, okay? Um, they may be a boss. They may own some properties or they just may be an owner of some stuff going on or whatever. It could be you. And you just in your boss energy. You know what I'm saying? You just have to be very stoic, very matter of fact, in control of everything that you got going on. So whoever this is may have been in, so in control of everything they got on. Sometimes it don't take but a little one, two for somebody to go through for them to realize that, you know, bitch, everything ain't about you. Everything that happened in life, bitch, is not about you. It's bigger than you. Because that may be who, whoever this is. Maybe that's what they went through. It's like you don't know how much you, how much of an advantage you, how you take advantage of different parts of your body until that bitch go out. Child, you don't know how much you depend on it, how much weight you really be putting on. Don't even be respecting the little things. All right? You know how much um, energy and effort this can take? What if something happened to it and I can't do this no more? Or what if it gets stuck like this? The penalties of it get stuck like this. But just to even do this is a lot. So maybe there's someone that's figuring out why, you know, maybe they hit, took their lick. They did. The tower and the six of swords, they took their lick. And they surrender, bitch. They surrender to their path. They surrender to the yoke of their soul, child. They pouring it all out, letting it all out. Offering it out. Giving away stuff. Seven of coins. They've come a long way. Tired of fighting. Five, five of one. Somebody tired of fighting. Tired of fighting. Tired of going through it. Tired of being pulled back and forth and not being, you know, this kind of, you know, this kind of like right here. What I'm getting. Okay. It could be that someone is so, you know, maybe there's somebody that, you know how you talk to somebody and they say that, um, they tell you what they believe in. And the more that you talk to them and the more that you, you know, pay attention to their actions and shit, it's like you really, you really don't believe in shit. You really ain't got no strong foundation nowhere. That's kind of what this five of ones is, okay? Maybe they tired of competing or something. I don't know, five of ones. Could be, you know, spiritual conflict, all right? Confusion. Saying one thing, doing another, saying what they want, really rooted in something else. It's a lot going on. And this could be different aspects of themselves. Or it could be that, you know, they were so conflicted and got caught up in material stuff. Now they see how far they've come, how much of a burden it's been, uh, who been there for them, who ain't. I don't know your life. But that's that enlightenment. Had to go through something. You're going to have to go through something and see it different. And once you make, and once you see it different, maybe that's the case. Let's look at it. It could be that, y'all. Hold on. It could be that somebody uh, goes on this healing journey, right? They had this awakening. Something happens. Whatever it is, it could be. Maybe somebody got caught up with, you know, because that'd be funny to me. I'm going to tell you the truth now. We got the emperor over here, all right? But you could be the emperor in your own right as a woman. But that is very interesting when people get caught up and caught for cheating or caught up in situations where they wasn't right. And they have to come to terms with it and they got to be a different person and do things different. But this is someone very stable. Yep, they've had enough. Backstab, betrayed. That could be a voodoo dog, yeah. All right. So back backstab, betrayed. Somebody was lying. All right. So whatever this is, I think that this person has really had enough, enough of the environment, enough of the people that they were around. Even with that seven of pentacles, it's like trying to figure out where it is that you want to plant a seed, making a decision on where is a, the right place to till your soil in order to produce something. OK, let me get out of it because I don't know these people. All right. Let's see here. 
But you don't know how um, good it feels to feel good to something go wrong. So you got to go ahead and appreciate everything. Be grateful. Okay. Before anything happens. Tina Turner was a Sagittarius. Ooh, you are. Somebody sent me some, um, they patio uh, garden that I just knew I was going to be planting for years. Still ain't planted that little garden. But I was like, I'm inspired. That was it. Okay. Came and went. In and out. Okay. I feel like I'm inspired too. Yeah. All right. So what do you have here? Make my funk the P-funk. I want to get funked up. Make my funk the P-funk. I want to get funked up. I want to earn. I want to earn. I would listen to some Luther Vandross too. Because I'm trying to figure it out. What the mail, Papa? I'm listening to some uh, Luca Vandross, baby. And I've learned. Mm. All right. Charlissa, they came up in here. How's it going, baby? Oh, no, Charlissa. I hope not. Dang. All right. Let's see what's going on. Let's get another story going on because we got time. All right, let me see, because um, I don't know y'all, child. Let me see. What you got in here for these people, child? Make my funk the peep funk. I want to get funk the, the heart chakra popping. Heart chakra popping. Soulmate. Ooh. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late for a very important day. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to sign the petition and share it, please. Thank you to those who have signed and shared it and promoted it so far. There's a no there. Okay. Listen. Why? And what else, child? What, you, what else, girl? Inner wisdom. All right. So they saying don't just jump out there and just think that everything's supposed to be everything. Basically, that's what it's looking like. Let me tell you why. You got the heart chakra and listen, all right? You can listen to your heart, but you're going to need to use your what? Your logic. Then you got the soulmate and why. You got to figure out why it is that somebody is in your presence. Why it is that you are connected with certain people. Because some of y'all, and you do know that y'all ass be doing it. You don't take time to really listen to what, you know, what's going on. Do your heart want this or do your flesh want this, child? I'm trying to figure it out. What, what, what really want it? Okay. Connect to your heart chakra and meditation so you can know who is for you and who ain't, basically. Because there's something here with this no and inner wisdom, okay? Maybe somebody told you no that you're really strongly connected to, and you have to use your inner wisdom to see that you need to keep looking in the direction that you need to. It could be that simple. Maybe somebody is not a soulmate, and you got to figure out why. Why are you asking that? Not my business. Sometimes people be wanting answers, child. That ain't got shit to do with their purpose. All right? What is this heart chakra? Ain't nothing wrong with it now. I'm just saying. There's a lot going on. For them to have to show you that you need to listen and ask questions. You should have asked questions when you met this person. You should have asked questions before. You know, there are certain laws that govern you that, that goes with your question, your questioner, your scan trunk. Oh, okay. And it, it just looks like, you know, you skip steps. All everything was so faded and all that because you're supposed to have a good time, not a long time. Okay, you got to pay attention. All right, now calm down because that might not even be the truth for you. It's for somebody else that ain't saying that in the chat. All right, someone is um, you also met someone to connect to your inner wisdom. So maybe you met them for a short time, not a long time, because you this was a person that came in to be a catalyst for you to connect to your higher self a little better. All right. And then no is crossing why heart chakra is crossing why why did I feel this way why why didn't it happen why didn't it work out like this I don't know your life baby I figure it out and don't waste your time trying too long and hard and trying to figure out too too much of the same thing shit you get the game they give you the game that's why don't come over here telling me uh because God told me child what God told you did. 
trying to figure it out. My phone real telling me that. Because she got a beautiful heart. See, that heart chakra is healing. It's vibrating out. And that's what connected you with this person. Because what's vibrating within her, look at this. See that? Behind her, behind her hands is yellow. Yellow is that burst of energy. Solar plexus popping. Maybe somebody need to pop your little solar plexus or something. Pissy. All right. Hypersensitive. Let me see, because I, I don't know you, baby. The lovers. It got something to do with somebody else and a choice that was made. It's right here. Okay. You need to calm down over there. Big draws. All right. I do have some, and I like my little big draws. TMI, don't care. Welcome to this channel. If you ain't never been over here, sometimes it is a little TMI. And them big draws be comfortable, bitch. Okay? So then you got the lovers making a choice over that heart chakra. This must be all of what I wanted. Well, you need to calm down, Fantasy Island. Okay? The plane, the plane. Just calm your ass down, uh, Tonto. I forget the little man name. Porsche Daddy, what's his name? Let me see. What's his name? Tonto. What's his name? Oh, y'all talking about something else here. So the heart chakra and the lovers coin, okay? Oh, let me tell you something about what you focus on. Depending on where you at and what you got going on and what is up against you in your bloodline. What followed you in this bitch to try to put you in... Um, you know, a stanky little ditch. Just a stanky ditch. Okay. Got to figure it out sometimes. All right? Stop making decisions based on your, whatever this is going on. I don't know your life. We're going to clarify, but with that lovers and that heart chakra, you got a lot that you are, you are supposed to figure out when it comes to this connection. A balanced connection. Look at bad bitch stanking ass want to come out. Hold on. I'm just going to take him out the dick. Because <laughs> we can pick up what's going on. We don't need his ass to confirm nothing. We don't seek that bitch for advice. The fuck? All right. What is this soulmate card? There's something. Maybe you have identical. Like, it's so faded that y'all have identical something. It's identical. I don't know if it's a taste. Tasting jewelry. Tasting food. Tasting. I don't know you. I don't know. Baby. I don't know. What pours that in? You do. Okay, my little, I like them little big draws right there. And my moo moo too. I'm trying to figure it out. That thing, you gotta let that thing breathe, child. You know, you can't go to sleep like that because, child, you gotta have some com big and comfortable like that to go to sleep in sometimes. Child, please. Sometimes, okay. Okay, Porsche Daddy, Fantasy Island, the little uh man, the little person. What was his name? The plane, the plane. Tattoo. Who is that? I don't know who you talking about. Okay, so Yvette said it's tattoo played by Hervey somebody. Tattoo, y'all. I asked y'all that way up there. And y'all were talking about something else. We finished. Because y'all acting, y'all acting, y'all acting real different, Grandpa. Because I called him Tonto. And Tonto is the Lone Ranger and Tonto. We're riding down the Navajo Trail. Along came some Indians, pulled up beside him. The white man looked mighty pale. He said, we're still away, said the white man. What you mean we, white boy? Learned that very young, never let it go, okay? All right, let's see here. What is this soulmate? Know them Indians in them, um, don't say that. That is not public conversation. What is this soulmate? A breath of fresh air, a nine of soul, a stressed out, worrying. It's too much. Maybe this, maybe this, this somebody that is very close to you is going through something, or are you going through something. Okay, let's slow this conversation down. 
Somebody may be going through something more than they can handle. They don't want to express it. They just feel like they ain't got nobody to talk to. It may have to do with their security and their stability. It may have to do with the way that they get things done. Very close to you. Very connected to you. Somebody that you really hold near and dear. Okay? You're just walking through whatever the conversation is. We ain't on the sign. We on stop sign. We don't stop saying. I don't know where to remix. What is uh, this nine of swords? The queen of swords. All right. So you looking at this person. I'm assuming these are two different people. It don't have man and woman ain't got nothing to do with it. Look, I know you over there going through something. You're probably picking it up intuitively. But something is telling you stand down. Stand down. Rest in peace to her, man. Keisha called mama. Stand down. Okay? Pimp down. <laughs> Pimp in distress. <laughs> Whatever she used to say used to be funny. Rest her soul, child. But it's like you um, may see that somebody is going through something here, and it's taking everything in you with their strength card, not to even try to help them or something like that. Maybe you're being told no, and you still want to know why. See, it could that could be the inside of the story that we was uh, coming up to from the beginning. All right, let me see, y'all. Look, because you know, you got something to say, but you holding your word. Maybe you told this person that you know, I'm not gonna, I ain't gonna say nothing. You holding your word, this you holding your word. These are thoughts and um, all types of stuff driving this person. Maybe this is someone who um, is about to lose their cool. So maybe somebody be losing their cool on social media here soon. I don't recommend, okay? Take that shit to your closet, go in there and say everything that you need to to that closet and beat up a pillow. These are simple, simple methods that do help. You wear, you wear your security like a loose garment. This person, that's all they think about. See that? She got the root chakra around her. It's loose. She's dressed in white. She already knows the direction that she needs to go and how she needs to go. She got on a red hat with a yellow band on it. He has, is it skipping? Because it just skipped. Okay. Did y'all get that? Not there. Thank you, um, Carpet D's Nuts. Appreciate you. I ain't seen you on here in a while. I know I've seen you on the other side, though. All right, check that out. See that? So she wears the world as a loose garment or her... Um, whoever this is, right? She don't have to be an air sign, but she's very intuitive, very uh, logical, right? Knows a lot about a lot of things, can possibly help this person out of all of this. But if you don't look up and if you don't ask, what the fuck, right? Just looking, right? I really feel like this is online. These swords, this is online. Because see, she's looking over here. We have a tarot class too. Because <laughs> I don't know shit about tarot. All right. So she's also looking and seeing Maybe this person is being slandered. She's looking and seeing all of these words, all of this information across the airwaves. Maybe she's picking it up. Her stability is here and here, you see. So this person may be in a space where they're ready to give up on something. Now, this is soulmate. Somebody's strongly connected to you, honey. Okay, you need to be careful out here, child. I don't know what y'all got going on because the grass is the same color on both of these cards, Okay. But the difference is that uh, this person has brought spiritual um, or this looks like heaven on earth. This is heaven on earth. I don't know what to tell you. I ain't never seen that in this card. I'm looking at it right here. What the fuck is going on? All right. Let's see here. What is this? No. Don't don't put that key in that door. I'm, I'm finna go watch my little show, chat. I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm gonna be quiet. Let me see. Cause don't put the key in it though. Okay. What is this no here for? What does this no got to do with anything? The cherry. Don't put that key in that dough. Keep moving forward. Keep claiming your victory. This is your family. Maybe this is about your happiness. What do you choose? Follow your inner wisdom on this one. 
This is interesting. But with that chariot, that could be, you know, you have to assert yourself and really use your discipline. You, you know that you can say something. This is like being able to help somebody heal, give them the magic words, give them the magic potion, give them the magic that will help them heal. But you are told not to do it because this isn't about you and your heart. This is about them and they grow. You see, something they are meant to master, something they are meant to experience, something they are meant to learn, something they are meant to earn. Why you out here trying to hand shit out? Trying to figure it out. Let me see now. This Sphinx got titties. The Sphinx pregnant? Hold on. Why they look like a turkey leg? I must be hungry. It's a turkey leg on the Sphinx. Let me see here. What is this chariot and this no? A five of cups. It's going to break your, it's going to hurt me more than it hurt you, baby. So it's like the five of cups. Let this shit be what it is, right? Don't take no parts in this. Something needs to change here. Follow your discernment because this may not have nothing to do with you and your situation, okay? And if you're paying attention to what's going on in this nation, how many people actually have discernment? Like, really pay attention, okay? Like, I don't know what you connected to, but, you know, you connected for sure. All right, five cups. Don't hold on to something. You got to know when to hold them, when to fold them. See how this person is holding on to these two cups? And there's three cups that they've already experienced in their life, three situations, three things, right? They set down some of their power. His uh, crook and flail, flail and crook. I'm trying to figure it out. But he set down his uh, magic in order to nurture um, a connection, a relationship. This could be your friend. I don't know who this is. A saw make could be anybody. That's crazy. He holding that Sphinx by the tail. Got the Sphinx by the tail, chair. Take yourself seriously, all right? Maybe this person has gone through a lot. Maybe they are, the okay, so since we put two cards on these cards, child, because this is what I'm seeing, and it's mostly because of this red on his head showing his little stocking cap. Don't know if they have what it takes to move forward. Holding on to some shit they probably let go of. They mastering they, they cups energy. Whoever this is is mastering some cup energy, some emotional energy. All right? And you can't master it if you don't get in the, in the field and play the game, child. Or find you somebody you're going to grow with and figure things out with. It ain't got to be a relationship, but that's what I'm saying, though. What is this listen? They want you to listen for the instruction and you'll know exactly. And that's going to reveal to you exactly why things had to work out the way that they did. Right. And that happens a lot because oftentimes people come back and um, tell us certain stuff like, man, I'm so glad you didn't answer your phone. I'm so glad you uh, didn't hit me back. I'm so glad, you know, I had. I, yeah. And that that helps you to realize that they really taking their life serious. So they really do see things in a more abstract way than the regular or the norm. Right. The NPCs. <laughs> I am so glad I didn't get caught up. Uh, one, two, not too much, but I'm glad I didn't get caught up too much in that. What is the listen? I brought it up, but it was looking different to me, like soulless people, period. Demonic working bitches. What is this listen card? Something you're going to see out your peripheral is going to uh, pull you into a space of silence, stillness, meditative state. Something that you see out of your peripheral. And as soon as you do that, you move into a space of calm and receive some information right there. This is your clarity. Nothing that is yours is ever lost. You see? What is this list and call right here for whoever this is? Judgment. Yeah. All you got to do is wait for it. It's on its way. This is what's going to happen. That's probably what you're going to hear. I don't know if you've ever heard it. Trumpet. Some type of sound, a signal. But with that judgment card, this has to, a lot to do with the clarity that you're going to receive from this person. Their transformation, their rebirth, what it is that they, the resolve that they found in this pit. What was me? I'm so pitiful. I'm so this and that and blah, 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 blah. You can't even see the smoke because you got your eyes focused on this shit that happened. 
They whoever they see is probably ain't getting no real work done. They probably ain't making no major moves, no nothing, because they are really sitting in some emotions. Just sitting in it. It's like sitting in pissing water, sitting in uh, swimming pool water with a whole bunch of uh, little kids. That's what they sitting in. Sitting in a pool of piss. Have you seen what little kids and some of you grown people be in there doing? You know what I mean? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Just sitting in a pool of piss, child. Just pissing. Coughing and pissing. Sneezing and pissing on themselves, child. It's too much going on. This judgment of the three of, three of uh, ones. Success, victory. The next level to your plans, what you got going on, receiving some type of uh, something that you are waiting for. You're going to be excited when you receive it. You know that with your blue hair. That's cute. All right. What is this? Y card intuition. What is this? Y card. Queen of Pentacles. This was protecting this, whatever this is under your arm. Okay, you know how y'all be holding on to them purses for life, for their life. Okay, something that you are protecting is why this is happening. So it's the equivalent of okay, so you can um, step in the way of what was meant to happen for this person by just. You know, instead of holding your words, staying out of this, maybe you made a promise to God that you're going to stay out of it. Maybe you made a promise to yourself. You've made a promise to this person. Whatever it is, you made a promise not to step over certain boundaries with this soulmate. And it's like the why has a lot, may have a lot to do with you and what you got going on in the practical sense. So it's kind of like if you try to like say, for instance, um, somebody's, because uh, this is a love, so it could be a family, friend, relationship, whatever it is, and you try to step in to get them out of some type of trouble, and by stepping in to get them out of some type of trouble, you made a decision without using your discernment, which your helpful ass, okay? And in turn, it does something. You lose your job or you get um, wrote up at your job because you took off to go sign for bail or something. And something happens like that. That's the why. Something in the practical sense, in the tangible sense, something that you are working on or something that you hold near and dear to you. You see what I mean? It's like they wouldn't have broken my house if I wouldn't have went over there and did that shit. But it's ungrateful. Sometimes people need to learn gratitude by going through stuff. You know that? Better figure it out. All right, let me see, child. Because you also have things that you are learning in this process as well. Mm. What is this Y card? It's coming through. The clarity that you need is going to provide a lot of fruit, a lot of... Um, it's going to be fruitful, right? So the information that's coming through is going to be the truth. It's going to be just, and it's going to be clear. It's all outside my door. You hear me? This is going to be something that is really going to grow you. And then you got these grapes. You already covered in grapes, crown chakra energy. Then you got grapes, the fruit. I heard a dog. There's fruit in that clarity. Someone may even uh, let you know that the reason why you haven't heard from them is because uh, somebody was trying to play a trick on them or trying to um, get away with something. I don't know someone, it's kind of like, I know in Texas, there are certain laws for people, um, somebody stay with you or live with you or get mail at your house type shit. That may be something that's going on. I don't know why I get that from this. Somebody may be trying to uh, may get a, a message from this person or someone else that someone was trying to uh, stop them from being happy. This person back here happy, and it's like, yeah, when that motherfucker turn around, they ain't going to even realize this going to this gonna fuck them up right here when they turn around. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All right? that's the That may be the message that you get, and that's also the why. That had a lot to do with it because it was a lot of drama that you didn't need to be a part of. Don't let nobody else pull you when they drama. Because half the time when people pull you when they drama, they don't even have a clear stance on what the fuck going on. You see what I mean? So you got to be careful out here. Sign the petition, though. All right. So five of swords. See that? This motherfucker turn around. They ain't going to know what hit him. Oh, yeah. 
It's like somebody wanted to break your heart, cause you pain or grief, right? And I don't think it's you. I'm, I'm saying whoever this is that's on the other side of it. So y'all gonna know if what side y'all on. Whoever this is that communicates this fruit to you, this fruit of the spirit, this you already knew something was, was going to work out some type of way, or you already were pulled over to the side not to put your key in that door. You hear me? And so you realize something here. And whoever this is, uh, I don't know if they got a spray tan. They may have a spray tan channel. I don't know. Or maybe um, not a spray tan, but maybe they are someone who come off as an upright citizen, but they really the humpback of Notre Dame. He got a humpback. Humpback, humpback where you at? All right, you uh, you a stand up person, but yeah, he got three swords, right? He could even grab all the five, right? Because if he could grab the five, he know that it would have changed your life. He left you opp the opportunity to turn around, pick up this knowledge, you see, utilize what, make a decision on how you're going to utilize what's here to keep you in this flow of happiness. You see, this how it worked for real. And this one over here, they think they got got away or, or did something right there. Burden. All they winning is another burden. All right. But that also goes into what I told somebody on the comment tab last week. Oh, baby, we don't negotiate with terrorists. <clears throat> we don't negotiate with terrorists. Because you got to remember, a motherfucking terrorist is not, they don't negotiate. You crazy if you think they do. They just going to keep on doing shit. If they keep on winning in a the negotiation, they're going to keep on doing shit. Don't let them win. All right. What is this inner wisdom? You may even see something at night. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box to the left. In the closet. That's my spot. Oh, somebody put somebody out probably. I don't know. Maybe they start saying that because a lot of these hoes out here is bold, ain't it? To the left, to the left. All right. Better be glad you ain't messing with none of them 70s and 80s, man. Let's talk about some to the left. Oh, they read everything. Them some of the most intuitive, crazy motherfuckers. Motherfuckers are intuitive and about to throw the fuck out from the 70s and 80s. Get the thing in the to the left if you want to, okay? Fresh, uh, wash and dry, bitch. Wash and dry. All right. What is this inner wisdom here? There it is again, the Queen of Pentacles. All right. Yeah, this is a new leg of your journey. That's why you couldn't do things like this. Somebody is rushing in, though. Um, I hope that they're not speeding. Because something may be... Um, if somebody is rushing... Calm, if you feel like somebody is too excited about coming to see you, too excited to be in your presence, you need to go ahead and tell them before they hit... Uh, maybe you can call them. And, you know, uh, calm, calm their spirit down a little bit, calm their, you know, their energy down so that they won't make no mistakes or uh, mishaps in traffic. OK. What is this inner wisdom? What is this inner wisdom? The eight of pentacles. You already know that you had work to do. You already know what you need to focus on. Or maybe your inner wisdom is going to show you. Now you can finally take that from under your arm and place it, um, place it on the table. You can finally put it on the glaze. Okay? But it may even be that you realize, because that's that same person with that red little cap on too. So this may be that, you know, you can you finally see this person in a different light, in a different space with this inner wisdom. You just have to continue to keep your eye on the prize, you see? So I'm looking at that two ways. One way is that now that you are in this space where you um, are, are ready to con con contribute or you're given the okay now to help this person, I guess, then they, you know that when you help them, it's going to be put to good use. It's going to be put in a, they're going to run the play. They're not stressed out. They done built up all their energy because whatever this is, they went through. The other part is, whatever it is that you are meant to be doing, it's, it's time for you to focus. You're going to follow your inner wisdom, go into a space where it's time for you to really focus. Focus on the thing at hand. Focus on building, creating. Um, this could even be just slow and steady. Work, work, work. A little goes a long way. So whatever it is that you are creating, a little bit every day, a little bit every day, okay? Whatever it is that you are working on, take your time, stay, keep people at your business. Because look at that. Baby, that little uh, sand city is way back there, ain't it? Ain't nobody working around here. 
Okay, they way the fuck over there, way the fuck back there. Like, no, they're not micromanaged. So maybe you are in that space where you're not, um, you're no longer being micromanaged. But it's like this person isn't being micromanaged. They are really um, able to work on their own. Very flexible. I don't know. Somebody got a toe missing. I don't know how they wear flip flops, child. What is this eight of pentacles? It's gonna go. The ten of wands. Promising yourself that you'll never go through that again. That's that person. Look, five of cups. That's that person. Not allowing themselves to be spiritually oppressed because they were already mentally oppressed. They were already mentally suppressed. They were already going through a whole lot going on. So it's like this burden, they are, they are realizing, communicating about this burden, communicating, they're going back and forth with themselves, right? Trying to keep up with the old them and the new them is here to stay, here to last. Because I'm the type of that's built to last. If you Wait a minute. I'm the type of that's built to last. If you... I put my... Oh, boy, yeah. Mm. I don't know, man. Somebody listen to NWA. <laughs> we want easy. Okay, easy. All right. Yeah, the burden is over. This is the end of a cycle, a spiritual cycle for this person as well. All you have to do is rest. Ace of uh, Wands and allow um, everything else to be taken care of. This person will be messaging you, but you are already be full throttle. On your way to a different place, a different space. This is a lot of major stuff. You got a lot of major stuff happening. Turning your back on bullshit, drama. There's no fair exchange. Somebody has a pain in the ass, child. Yeah, you're staying focused. I would too. I don't blame you. I do not blame you one bit. Going into the attic to get to learn something new. So maybe some of you are going through some type of initiation. You're going into a space where you are learning something new, experiencing something new, and things are going to really, like, when this door of opportunity opens, hope, go through it. I don't care if you got to, the fuck? I'm trying to figure it out. The fuck you talking about? You have cuss too much. Son, lady, like. Now, why you do that? You know Uranus and Jupiter doing some people about to be going through some stuff. <laughs> Why she do that? She's blessed. My baby, my baby was just calling. I said, no, no, no. They try to come back to rehab. I said, no, ho, no. The fuck? Leave Amy the fuck alone. People really loved her. They would have looked out for her. And that's what I say about bringing your problems to the um, internet. My problem is. Go to Patreon and sign. That's my problem right there. Okay. But bring your problems to the internet and people be like, I'm going through that too. And this and that. Baby, let me tell you something. Your help is not there. Okay. You got to figure out a way for people to help you and tell them what the help is. And my help is Patreon. I mean, um, change.org. And the wine house going all up and through there. I love the music. Everybody up there just, she up there fucked up on stage and y'all just out in the audience. It just does something to me. She feels me on a whole other level. People is... I even needed some help. She needs to be saved some kind of way. Somebody should step in. I don't want to talk about it. It's not my business. I don't get in celebrities' business like that. But that was... I was that bitch, man. I mean, that chick. Cremated her so damn fast. Cremated her faster than you could take a piece. Calm down. Don't get into that. We don't do celebrity stuff on this channel. All right? Get these folks one last quarter. I'm going to go for real because I had lied and said that while ago and I'm still here. Page of Cups. Enjoy your life, okay? It's maybe a message coming through that you already into it, okay? You into it, a message coming through, but also have take time out to really go with your inner wisdom and see what needs to be seen out of your peripheral. You, when, you, when you see something out your peripheral, this is what I learned. It's, if, especially if you've gone through um, uh, some of the things that I've witnessed when it comes to people playing games. And there's so many different ways that people play games. So if you see something at your peripheral, don't turn your head towards it. Don't turn your body towards it. Don't allow it. Don't ingest it. 
because you already know what the fuck it is. You see, it's very interesting how that uh, works when it comes to um, things that are uh, things that are designed to trigger you. Things that are designed. Let me sit back. Y'all in my damn face. What is wrong with y'all? Things that are designed to trigger you. Things that are designed to put you in a space of incompletion. Things uh, to put you in a space of not realizing uh, who you are and where you are going. Not realizing that, you know, that's a trick of the enemy. So you got to be very much so careful. So when you see something out of out, out of your peripheral, that means that you see it for what it is, like shadow people and all that shit, right? But this is like anything that could possibly happen that you um, that doesn't really require your attention. It desires your attention, right? So what you learn is not to give it any more than just that one little glance, because that's all you're getting. Um. Especially when it comes to manipulation tactics, when it comes to uh, people trying to throw you in uh, any type of simulation. Once you're on the other side, bitch, do not go back in there. They will do everything in their power to put you back in a place where you had already outgrown. You already figured out um, how to get to the other side of the ocean with the help of some orcas. Somebody in the comments did say that they um, had some help from some orcas in a dream. But uh, I couldn't think of any type of ship that you possibly might be... And, but yeah, be mindful of that when it comes to um, pay the shit. You got to really make up your mind. I, I, I bullshit you not. You really have to make up your mind that you will not fall for the same tricks that you fall, fell for in the past. You will be amazed how important you are. But see, you got to remember how important you are daily, you see. You got to remember why you're here daily. You got to make up your mind when it comes to, when I say the laws that govern you and why I, I ain't talked about it a lot in this uh, read because I really be doing it in my indie reads and stuff like that and in the cellar because <clears throat> I feel like if people pay, pay for paying for information, then that's, they need them extra pushes, right? And, and they can ask questions and stuff like that and I'll be able to get back with them. But when it comes to the laws that govern you, you're going to have to stick by them motherfuckers. It's so tough. I bullshit you not, man. Imagine how many people you've um, experienced or have witnessed even within yourself. How many people that stepped outside their own boundaries? These can be natural laws that govern you, universal laws that govern you. What is you standing on on a daily basis? Because if you ain't standing on nothing, when you look, when you look, see something at your peripheral, you're going to be amused by it. It's gonna take you somewhere that you already healed from. Just opening a wound, opening, opening a wound, reopening a wound that wasn't even supposed to happen, but you free will. Just enjoy yourself out here in this world, but you still need to make sure that you are covered. You are protecting yourself. You got laws that govern you that can't nobody spin you around out of. Just because something show up in your peripheral don't mean it's meant for you to see it. It's, it's probably a test. Who knows? A challenge. Okay? Because I'm seeing out my peripherals right now. Some of them country potatoes that you cook in the morning with some eggs and some sausage on them Hawaiian rolls. I ain't going to look at it, bitch. I ain't going to let the enemy take me out. Don't do it. Let that shit go. Let that hurt go. Let that hoe go. Let that hurt go. Let that hoe know. All right, let me get on back to my little show or whatever, y'all. But I appreciate each and every one of you. I enjoyed you all here tonight. I do apologize that I was not interacting as much as I possibly could have been in the comments. But a lot of y'all came from a lot of y'all came from the other live that got dropped because of my um, my ass. I hit the table and it knocked the thing out the side of the computer, so I couldn't get back on there without an OBS. That I ain't got hooked up. But yeah. Don't do it. Thank you, J-Lo, for hanging in here with me tonight. For sure that. Tanito, when, when you come in here? That's a very blessed person. <laughs> 
you know, you know a lot of people that are everybody blessed in their own way. Okay. All right. Y'all need to calm down. That's a very blessed person. I love you too. Porch daddy. <laughs> Porch daddy, one of the people that come through and be uh holding down. Like, it's fine, dude. He's gonna come through and tell me, look, you need to calm down, Lulu. In his own way. Well, that's all right. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, this is an illusion. <laughs> I'm not really here. All right, I love y'all. Make sure that y'all drop a purple heart in the comments below. And I'm going to uh, put up, um, when y'all come, if y'all decide to come back to this live later, I'm going to put up a um, the breakdown of the video. All right. All right, I love y'all. Bye, y'all. Thank you, J-Lo, again.